Recently, the 41st Pacific Island Leaders Forum held their meeting in Vanuatu. And today, we caught up with the Premier, Honorable Toki Talangi, for his take of the meeting. Premier Talangi said he felt the meeting was successful, especially for Pacific Island countries and for Niue. I was happy with, the, if you like, the intervention that I made with respect to sports and youth that was presented to me. And I was also happy with my intervention with respect to private sector involvement in things. We know that we're doing that now in Niue. A lot of the countries are not adapting to that. And, and Niue, in some respects, has taken the lead in, in the idea that, in fact, growth will come from the private sector. Therefore, we've got to encourage the development of the private sector and involve private sector uh, people in the organizations that we're doing at the present moment. That's exactly what this government is doing in Niue. And this is exactly what I'm advocating for countries in the region to consider. Some of them are doing it. The Cook Islands, in fact, is a very successful private sector. Samoa is, is building up a very successful private sector. Fiji already has a very successful private sector. But some of the smaller economies are not developing in that respect. Therefore, it's, it's one of the things we, uh, we uh, I try to, in fact, place some focus. The third thing was whether the SIS meeting, I, I partly chaired that meeting. I was very happy with the fact that we were able to put through the youth development uh, programs from the SIS right up to the leaders' uh, retreat. The communique that we found in the end, all the things that we wanted in the SIS was in, in fact included in the leaders' communique in the end. So I was happy with that. As a forum, it was very successful. I, I, I thought Vanuatu was a very good venue and, and the Prime Minister did a very good job. Um, I was very, very happy with the outcomes <coughs> that we had, personally. The things that I wanted to do in the forum, I was, I was happy with. It's entirely up to the governments to decide what they want to do and how they wish to do it. But New Way is, in some respects, leading the way in, in the innovative, innovative thinking that we have with respect to what we do and how we do it with the limited resources that we have. So I'm reasonably happy with that. In comparing notes with some of the other countries, some of them are quite surprised at what we do, how we do it. Some of them are very surprised with the way that we've linked the budget to the, in, 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 to the strategic plan and so on. They, they haven't even gone those steps. And the fact that we're dealing with now moving towards uh, you know, the recurrent budget, the, the strategic plan and the investment development budget, some of those things are, are, are almost new innovations for some of the countries. I'm not saying all of the countries, but certainly some of the small island countries. Um, as I said, I'm, I'm reasonably happy with New performance at the uh, forum. Yes, there were, there were a few comments um, around at the forum when I was in Vanuatu in regards to New Year's leader being very aggressive um, in his response <laughs> in his response also um, to some of the issues that were brought up, especially to do with funding for the Pacific Islands. Has this, um, how is this benefiting the islands, especially New Year? Well, I think it's made the donor countries think a bit more about what they've pledged, how they've pledged it, and when it's going to be available. Um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm aggressive when it means that, in fact, we've got to try to get resources to help ourselves. But let me also add this, that when the, uh, the chairman of the World Bank made his presentation, and I made the point about the fact that we're not eligible for any assistance from the World Bank because we're not a member, he made the point that, in fact, we can still get assistance from the World Bank, so I'm going to chase him up on that. Uh, through trusts that are available to the bank. Now, it's funny in a way that those people never ever say to us, look, if you're not a member of the World Bank, we can still provide you assistance until they come to these meetings and, they, and, and we make the points. And I made the point. I said, well, it's all really well for you to come here and say these things, but the fact is we're not a member of the World Bank. Therefore, we're not eligible. And he then pointed out the fact that there, there are trusts that we can, in fact, uh, source funding from. So I was, I was pleased about that. That is Premier Honourable Toke Talangi.